afternoon folks and here we are back on the Wombun branch and this is the Bratch, Loch, Brant, Bratch Lane Bridge we're not far from Wombun which is up that way Wombun Station we am going to show you in a minute um, we left this journey at somewhere around Penholt we may walk up to where that is today it depends on how we feel today and how I feel today but uh, over there somewhere over here on this lovely line can't really see it much. Over there is of course Bratch Lock itself on the canal. Do a video on them one day. Okay, let's carry on and up there towards Wombun. Here we are at the end of the station here. And up here is Wombun. Similar design to of course what Tetra would have been. It, this line was you know operated in 1925 and closed 1932. And quite the great wrestling railway. Up that way it could have been Penholt. I don't know if there's a goods yard around here, I'm not sure. I need to look at some old photographs really and go back up to some of the maps. It's been used as a cafe a lot longer than the one I believe at Tetna was. Nice little find here we just noticed as we're walking past. Looks like a drainage area. Looks in better condition than anything I saw at Tetnal Station. And in there. And over there you've got another kind of building there as well. Looks similar to the one I saw at Tetnal. Can't see any other buildings or could it have been a signal box or something? I'm not sure. Looks like it could have been a kind of extension of the platform or it could have been a goods area. I don't know, but that, that is a cracking find there. I thought it was just, Heidi's just by something really, really fascinating. Right in front of me here, you can see a part of old railings and the trees grown through it. That's fantastic. That's a real good find, that is. Kind of embedded into the tree. I'm not sure if one was a two platform station. If it was, it's kind of very overgrown. This is the other one. It does look as long as Technol. I'm not sure if there's a goods yard here at all. Got the dog training centre in the background there. There's the end of the platform there. This part of the branch is so different from when I walked from Tetnall to Cassacroft down to Penholt because that was um, the route was cut into the floor, so the steep embankments either side of us where this has been built up. So on top of the embankment, there's a lot more open open here so it could have been two lines here not sure another feature here I'm not sure if it's to do with the railway the foundation to something signal maybe or a post or something some sort of track side equipment possibly a track side who knows it looks definitely a foundation it looks like it come from um this here really oh it's an old in the ground. Yeah, that's a technical name for yeah. it. All in the ground. Big and kind of round. <laughs> Indentation. <laughs> nice little find on this bridge. This bridge goes over Flash Lane. There you go, you've got 36 on the side of the bridge there. And 151 over 35. Yeah. And some of the writing there, I'm not sure if that indicates the width of the bridge or the length, I'm not sure. And uh, this is definitely a single. There we go. Flush Lane Bridge. And still in the Great and Western Railway colours as well. I think it indicated third class. I'm not sure if you know which colour this indicated in the class from Great and Western Railway. Please leave it in the column below. OK, 
Okay, it's another bridge. This is the bridge going over Black Pit Lane. There you go, there's a lane, definitely a lane down there for sure. All of these little features, I've not seen them in the other bridges, this here, kind of jutting out. Kind of a little platform area. No numbers on the side. Oh, yes there is. I don't to say there's no numbers, but I just spotted them. They're very faded, so there we go. 37 on that side. There's 36 down the other side, and there's some numbers here, very faded. Right, you've got some more numbers on this bridge. 38 on the side there. And 151 over 68. This is the Penstall or Penston Bridge. Is it Bridge Lane or Penstall Lane? Penstone. Penstone or Penstone? Now, somewhere on this route, somewhere on this branch, they did originally pose another branch off towards Bridge North, which never unfortunately happened. So, I don't know where that would have branched off on this line somewhere. I presume it may have been from somewhere between um, Tetnall and um, Wanburn, really. I'm not sure where it would have gone off. No indication of the map where it was. It was only a proposal. Because I think because of the First World War, it kind of got abandoned, really. Not sure if this was to do with the railway line here, but it's right by the railway track. So it could have been, it's all empty now, but this next to the right of it is an old telegraph pole. And I can't see any other wires going off it except for keeping it up. Very old style telegraph pole, that's for sure. Not sure where these steps go down. I don't think they were part of the railway, I think they were part of the walk. Look, they're very over going down there, I'm not going to go down there. Looks interesting. Right folks, as you can see from the sign behind me, we've reached the end of where I stopped in part one of the disused stations on the Wombun branch or South Staffordshire Railway. As you can see we've come back to where we believe Penhold was. As you can see it's completely overgrown, it's very difficult to actually indicate where the, the halt was. I need to find an old map, not old map, an old photograph to show you. But thank you. I think me and Hyde have come to the conclusion again still, we still think this is the Penholt. You've got some brickwork there, possibly. This is too overgrown. Too overgrown to really get in. Really? We come along, probably well maintained this part of the walk here. But as I've mentioned in the video before, it was the smallest of halts, so there wouldn't have been a permanent brick building here, it would have only been probably a wooden building, so nature is just basically taking back over. I'm going to have to bring Heidi more on these walks because she's noticing more things than me for a change. <laughs> she's just noted all these lovely kind of bricked arches up here making of the bridge. They're wonderful. That is so cool. Some nice little feature that. Some better numbers, better numbers there. I'm, I'm still not sure what the M and the C, I'm not sure what they are there. There's some more numbers down here too. 10 34, is that 94? I'm not sure. Please put a comment down in the comments if you know what these are, please, because I'd love to know. Right, folks, as you can see, behind me is the bridge I got to in my last walk. So, thank you very much for joining me this walk. I'm hoping to do the walk from Wombun down to Himbley next. I'm not sure what that will be, but thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share, and remember, hit that notification button, please. It makes a big difference to my channel. If you want me to do any further comment like the content like this, please put a comment down below. 
Do you want me to do more canals or just throw, just well, just use railways? Thank you for watching. My name is Christine, Street Rambler. Bye.